Blue Jays closer Roberto Osuna accepted a 75-game unpaid suspension handed down by Major League Baseball, following a domestic assault charge last month. Commissioner Robert Manfred announced the punishment Friday night for violating MLB's domestic violence, sexual assault and child abuse policy. It is retroactive to May 8, the day the 23-year-old was arrested in Toronto on one count of assault. Blue Jays reliever Roberto Osuna was suspended until August. Four by MLB on Friday, Tony DeJack, AP file photo, in a statement, Manfred said Osuna has agreed not to appeal the decision and will participate in a confidential and comprehensive evaluation and treatment program supervised by the Joint Policy Board. My office has completed its investigation into the allegation that Roberto Osuna violated Major League Baseball's joint domestic violence, sexual assault and child abuse policy on May 8, 2018. Having reviewed all of the available evidence, I have concluded that Mr. Osuna violated the policy and should be subject to discipline in the form of an unpaid suspension that will expire on August 4. Osuna will miss a total of 89 days, which will cost him about $2.54 million of his $5.3 million U.S. Salary Article continued below in a separate statement, the Blue Jays said they support the decision and, as this remains a legal matter, the club will have no further comment at this time. Osuna was arrested in early May and placed on paid administrative leave, which has been extended five times in accordance with the policy. He was ordered to remain 100 meters away from a building near Lakeshore Boulevard. Once Strawn Avenue, and not to communicate with the woman he's accused of assaulting, Alejandra Roman Cota. As a condition of his release, he was also ordered not to possess weapons or consume alcohol. The 2017 American League All-Star did not attend his first court appearance in Toronto this past Monday, but his lawyer, Dominic Basile, told reporters Osuna would plead not guilty to simple assault. Basile also said he hoped no trial would be needed and that the Jays closer could get back on the mound as soon as possible. Basile said Osuna has been dividing his time between Toronto and Florida, where he is working out, and is in positive spirits. The Mexican-born Osuna debuted in April 2015, becoming the youngest Blue Jays pitcher to appear in a major league game. Osuna, whose motto is no panic, is one of the most effective closers in the game and a stalwart in the bullpen. Joint policy between MLB and its Players Association was introduced the same year Osuna entered the big leagues. It states that the Commissioner's Office will investigate all allegations of domestic violence, sexual assault and child abuse involving members of the baseball community. New York Mets shortstop Jose Rios and reliever Jerry's Familia, New York Yankees reliever Roldis Chapman, Boston Red Sox pitcher Stephen Wright and San Diego Padres pitcher Jose Torres have all been suspended for incidents related to domestic violence since the policy was put in place. Those suspensions spanned anywhere from 15 games for Wright to 100 games for Torres, who will miss the rest of this season. Players do not need to be convicted to be disciplined by the league. Article continued below according to John Heyman of FanRag, it is believed MLB was able to interview the alleged victim prior to handing down the Osuna suspension. Osuna, who has not pitched for the Jays since two days before his arrest, has appeared in 15 games this season with 9 saves and a 2.93 era. The righty was an all-star last year, when he went 3-4 with 39 saves and a 3.38 era. He is next scheduled to appear in the Toronto court on July 9. The Blue Jays will be in Seattle on August 5, the day Osuna is eligible to return. With files from the Canadian press, Laura Armstrong is a sports reporter based in Toronto. Follow her on Twitter, at Laura Army.